Is this thing working? Yes, it is. Good morning. Welcome to Cilium Con, and uh, thanks for getting here bright and early. So, my name's Liz Rice. Uh, I am Chief Open Source Officer at ISOvalent. And I am Laurent Bernay. I'm Principal Engineer at Datadog. And we're going to be your hosts for today. And uh, before we get started with the amazing lineup of talks, we've got a few bits of housekeeping and a few bits of announcements to, to cover before we get going. All right, so the first thing I'm sure you are familiar with uh, at these events, code of conduct, basically just be nice to each other. If you're asking questions, ask them, you know, ask proper questions, uh, be kind, be respectful, and let's have some really good technical discussions over the course of the day. And if you need captions or translations, you, you can get them on your personal device by using Wordly, and you can just use this QR code to access them. So I'll leave it on for, for a second if you want to take it. Okay. Other important things that I'm sure you'll want to know about, refreshments. You probably already found uh, coffee and you might have found breakfast. I learned that when they ran out here, there was more at the other side. So that might be a tip worth noting for lunch later on. Basically, lunch and refreshments are all going to be outside in the foyer there. That's also going to be the location for the reception that will be shared between CiliumCon and all the other co-located events this afternoon after our sessions finish at 5.30 this, e this evening. And, and of course, one thing we wanted to celebrate today is the graduation of Cilium. Let's get a round of applause for the fact that Cilium has graduated. So of course, thanks to all of you in the in the community to make this uh, to have made this possible. Um, we'll be celebrating this throughout the week. Uh, first tonight at the Siliamcon reception that Liz just mentioned, and and later Wednesday too. Yeah, on Wednesday there's going to be um, cupcakes coming around in the project pavilion for Cilium and uh, a few other projects that have also graduated since the last KubeCon. So don't miss out if you have a sweet tooth. And. I don't know if you know this, but Cilium is actually the third fastest moving project in the CNCF, behind only Kubernetes and OpenTelemetry. So I think that's a pretty awesome achievement and, the, and testament to the fact that there are so many people involved and excited about Cilium and using it day to day, which is really great news. Another thing we're very happy to, to announce today is that we'll soon have a certification for Cilium. So the Cilium Certified Associate. So it's going to be a new certification managed by the CNCF and the Linux Foundation. Um, it's, it's not open yet. It's going to be available probably early next year, right? And if you're curious about the certification programs in general, um, there's a Q&A organized by the CNCF Wednesday at 2.30 when you can ask questions. I know there's a few people in the room who've been involved in writing some of those questions and reviewing some of those questions. So thank you to everyone who's helping build that exam. It's definitely a community effort. Another thing that's a, a recent announcement is the fact that Tetragon, which is a subproject in Cilium for security observability, is now 1.0. So uh, congratulations to everyone who's been working on Tetragon for getting to that milestone. Let's give them a round of applause. And, you know, there's a significant number of contributors there. It's over 150 people who've been involved. We've got well over two, was it 2.7 thousand GitHub stars on that sub-project alone. So, you know, that's really picking up some momentum now, which is really great to see. And on Wednesday, um, don't miss the, the world premiere of the EBPF documentary um, in, in room W181, sorry. Uh, and this, this documentary is going to um, tell the story about EBPF, how it came to be and how it became what it is today. And, and so it's going to be aired for the first time Wednesday. I've seen a sneak preview. It is brilliant. You really don't want to miss that. It's really good. 
Yeah, so that's just one of the psyllium-related activities that's happening during the rest of the week. Obviously, I'm expecting you're all going to stay here all day at PsylliumCon, but that won't be enough to satisfy all of your psyllium needs for the week. There is a Contrib Fest, so if you're interested in contributing to psyllium, particularly if you're a new contributor, come along to the Contrib Fest on Thursday morning. There will be the maintainers track session on Thursday afternoon, which will be you know, some more updates about the project and we'll hear from some more speakers, maybe from people who couldn't necessarily be here today, but who will be at KubeCon. All week at KubeCon, there will be the Cilium project boost. So definitely drop by, come and say hello, meet maintainers and ask your questions. And uh, don't forget that's where the cupcakes come on Wednesday. <laughs> And also, there is an experience center all week in the Solutions Showcase where you can uh, try Cilium for yourself hands-on if you haven't already and uh, find out which EB you are. So lots of really cool things happening all week this week. And, and we know that KubeCon North America is barely just starting, um, but we already have to plan for KubeCon Europe. And, and so uh, the CFP is now open for the Cilium and EBPF day. So it's going to be a new format. It's going to be a full day. And instead of being Cilium only, it's going to be Cilium and EBPF. So if you have ideas of talks, don't hesitate to submit right now. And we'll be very happy to, uh, to, see, uh, to, see, to see you in, in Paris. Yeah, you still have uh, nearly a month to think up your ideas for, for what you want to speak about at that event. It's going to be really fun. One more QR code for you. This is for the Cilium user survey. So if you are using or even just considering using Cilium, we would love to get your feedback, get your input. Um, this will ask you questions about things like what you're using Cilium for and what you'd like to be using Cilium for. So that's uh, really useful input into the direction of the project. And obviously, we will be making the results of that public when it's available. And, and of course, we also wanted to, to thank how our sponsors to today will make this, this event possible. So first of all, please, a round of applause for Isovalent, one of our platinum sponsors. <laughs> diamond. <laughs> I said platinum, but it's diamond. <laughs> <laughs> and Isovalent is also providing live streaming right now. Yeah, hi, if you're watching from remote. <laughs> And also, thank you to our other diamond sponsor, Solo.io. So let's give them a round of applause, too. <laughs> These events couldn't happen were it not for the sponsors, so we really appreciate the support. We're also very interested in your feedback. So uh, as the day goes on, uh, you can provide feedback on, on talks and on the events. And so we're very curious. So you can scan the, the QR code at the end of the talk on, on SCED, and you can provide feedback and tell us how, how you felt about, about the talks. And how many of you are already in the Cilium Slack channel? Lots of you, excellent. Definitely, a, you know, a good place to, to, to be, to ask questions and uh, get involved with the Cilium community. There is a CiliumCon channel in that Slack. So if you do have feedback or questions, that's a, a great place to, to go. We'll also try to keep an eye on that channel in case people who are watching remotely have questions for our speakers during the day. All right. And... Here is the agenda for today. So you can see all the uh, wonderful talk we're going to be hearing uh, during the day. And in a few minutes, we are about to start, I think. Yeah, and I will just mention, I don't know how many of our speakers are already in the room who are going to be speaking later in the day. But if you are a speaker, um, if you can just make yourself known to myself or Laurent at some point, and we'll also make sure you get mic'd up, that would be really helpful. <laughs> 